When I first learned about how accurate AlphaFold was, I thought that it could help us solve the problem that we had been stuck with for 10 years. Sometimes you get these events in nature where bacteria can acquire resistance to a multitude of antibiotics, and then something that was harmless can become a huge problem. With modern medicine and modern antibiotics, we kind of take it for granted that we're not going to die of a bacterial infection. But there's 2.8 million antibiotic-resistant infections in the United States alone. It's pretty scary. The industry has not really generated very many new antibiotics lately. An alternative approach to try to deal with the problem of antibiotic resistance is to try to develop approaches to defeat the resistance mechanism so that the existing antibiotics are effective. There's a couple different ways that bacteria can acquire resistance. In the case that we're studying, they modify the bacteria membrane to prevent the antibiotic from even getting in. Our project is focused on understanding the enzymes that allows the bacteria to modify the membrane. An important aspect is that we also focus on understanding the, the structure of these enzymes. But those are particularly difficult to work with because we need to take them out of their natural environment. We essentially purify each one of these enzymes so that you can obtain a pure sample free of all other proteins. The most common technique to determine this structure is X-ray crystallography. Proteins in the membranes of cells are notoriously extremely difficult to crystallize. We had been able to obtain crystals that diffracted X-rays for one of these proteins that mediate antibiotic resistance, but we had not been able to solve the structure. We had not been able to solve the problem. To be able to process the crystallography data, you need a model, which is a rough guess of what you think the protein is going to look like. With technology like AlphaFold, which provides a starting model that we can combine with our data, we'll be able to solve these structures so much faster. I was just astonished at how accurate the prediction was. How is it that we were 10 years unable to, uh, to solve this? And now we have this prediction and, and you know, it's solved in 30 minutes. So this is the case where um, AlphaFold then gave us the overall structure of the protein. Now we can then move on to use this uh, structural information to try to understand how the protein catalyzes its chemistry. We know that there's a whole pathway of enzymes involved in the antibiotic resistance. And if we stop just one of those enzymes, we'll be able to shut down the mechanism. A tool like AlphaFold is really poised to have a huge impact in our ability to develop new drugs. This could help solve the problem of antibiotic resistance.